Today's hottest music, Hot 103, got it locked on a Sunday afternoon. All your favorite Latin hip hop oldies, and of course, your requests and dedications. Right now, I'm joined by Malo Mac, though. Malo Mac, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What's cracking with you, big dog? I gotta tell you, I always thought you were underrated as an MC. I had a chance to hear the new tracks you just came out with, Nothing But Heat. Tell us a little bit about your musical mindset at this point with everything you've been through in your career. Yeah, well, right right now, um, basically, I kind of felt the same way, you know what I'm saying? The same opinion that you just said, I kind of felt the exact same way, homie. Um, I felt like I could be doing a lot of, you know what I mean, different stuff when it came to, like, being lyrical, being more creative, you know what I'm saying? But I was a part of I was a part of something else, and, you know, they wanted me to go a whole different route with it and do the whole love thing, and that was cool, but now I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm doing my own thing now, so... I'm able just to do do what I want to do, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to the, the whole music aspect. So whether it's like lyrical stuff or just, you know what I mean, just talking, talking about a story or even when it comes to love stuff, I'm, you know what I mean, I'm a little bit more creative and more open to, to everything that I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Now you got the new singles out, you got the videos out on YouTube. For those who haven't heard them yet, what can they expect when they hear a new Malo Mac track? Um, I think honestly, if they heard my old stuff, I think uh, like I like I was talking to you about. You know what I'm saying? Last time we had chopped it up. I think this is probably like, the best music that I've ever wrote, I've ever done. I have some of the best producers that I've ever worked with. So production wise, lyrical wise, it's the best stuff that I've ever laid. So for for a new fan to go and pick up a, a Marlo Mac track or just to pull up pull something off the net or whatever. I think they'll kind of be a little little blown away by it, you know what I mean? Right, now we're about to go ahead and get into one of your brand new tracks. For everyone out here in Las Cruces, go ahead and give us a story behind it and introduce it for all your fans out here. Right here, Las Cruces, New Mexico, it's the new track, Never Gave Enough on You. Right here, your boy Malo Max featuring my homie Fingers. It's basically about um, not everyone's in a relationship and not every relationship is great, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you don't want to just call it quits on your relationship, you know what I'm saying? You go through ups, you go through downs, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it's basically about. It's basically, but it's not everything's perfect, perfect, but it's worth it to keep it cracking, you know what I'm saying? If it really means that much to you, but it's the new new single right here, Never Giving Up On You, Malo Mac. Never Giving Up On You, Malo Mac, Hot 103. Today's hottest music, Hot 103, Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Malo Mac. Now, you definitely have a lot of fans, get a lot of love out here in Las Cruces. What do you want to say to all your fans, everyone who's been down with Malo Mac since back in the day and continues to be down with you? Man, I just I want, I want to say it's, it's nothing but love, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but that soldier's love. I appreciate all my fans, all my supporters that have been down with me since since the gay. I've been doing this for like 11 years now, homie, solid, you know what I mean? So for me to go and do this on my own now and have the have followers even getting 10 times stronger and you know me supporting the music the way they are, you know, it's it's much appreciated and trust me that's what keeps me going, you know what I'm saying? That's what keeps me putting albums out and doing shows and touring all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Cuz I got dedicated fans so as long as you know they're dedicated to me, then I'm dedicated to them right back, and I just I keep serving it. You know what I'm saying? At this point in your career, what's the message you hope to get out there to your fans and to the listeners through your music? Um, but basically, it's, it's, if you want you want to be able to do something, you want to do something with your music, no matter what kind of connections you got, what kind of budget you have, you can you can make it possible. That's that's what I'm basically trying to say. I, I came I came straight from the struggle, bro. You know what I mean? When I was a little kid. I was in, I was homeless with my mom living in garages and just horrible, you know what I mean? I grew up still still living in the streets and not, not having nothing, you know what I'm saying? But you stay focused, you know what I mean? You'll be able to, that's why a lot of times in my music, I talk about the struggle. I talk about like, you know what I mean? Coming up from, from the gutters, coming up from, from rock bottom, you know what I'm saying? So as long as, as long as you stay positive, you stay focused and you're motivated, you got ambition, You'll be able to keep it cracking, you know what I'm saying? So whoever's doing music, doesn't matter where you're at, what kind of money you got, or whatever the situation is, you know what I'm saying? Just stick with it, keep it cracking, stay practicing, stay writing. And you know what I mean? It's, you'll, you'll be able to accomplish things. You've been in the game for over 10 years. You've had to overcome a lot to get to where you're at. With everything you've been able to accomplish, what are you personally most proud of? I'm most proud of that. Just honestly, I'm, I'm able to take my dream as a little kid making music, you know what I'm saying? I've been rapping since I was 13 years old at backyard parties with family and, you know what I'm saying, rapping in a little karaoke machine and stuff like that. So I'm most proud of just being able to take my music worldwide and, you know what I'm saying, I, of course, live off of it, you know what I'm saying, if I'm able to pay my bills and stuff like that and take care of my family and stuff. But 
just to have everybody bumping my music actually worldwide is, is a blessing within itself, you know what I'm saying? Henry G here with you on the Sunday afternoon special guest, Milo Mac. More to come with Milo Mac right now, though. Here he is. This is Soldier's Love, today's hottest music, Hot 103. Today's hottest music, Hot 103, Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Milo Mac. Now, you've been through a lot throughout your career. Looking back, is there anything that maybe you regret or that you would have done differently? Um, I don't have too many regrets. I wish I would have stood a little bit more open, you know what I'm saying, to, to any other type of business and stuff that was out there. Um, you know, but at the same time, you know what you can. You're not always going to start off at the top, no matter how you look at yourself as an artist. You know what I mean? Like, to me, I was like, I might have been like a little cocky, you know, like I'm the best person out here and this and that. And, you know, everything, there's always a little, you have to hustle. You know what I'm saying? You have to hustle the product. You have to build your name. You know what I mean? So that's where it's basically, basically yeah, no regrets. You know what I'm saying? Just... As time goes, get a little bit wiser, get a little bit smart, more smarter with the game, you know what I mean? Right, and how has everything that you've been through shaped you as an artist and as an entrepreneur as well? Yeah, well, basically all, all the little shady stuff, you know what I'm saying? The hustle, the whole grind, you know, just being a rapper is like 50% of the game, you know what I mean? And then being able to be a businessman is the other 50% of the game. You have to know how to be smart when, when it comes down to just contracts and your music and how to market yourself. And, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, just because you get a quick 10, 15 Gs in your pocket, even 20, 30 Gs, you don't want to just kind of kick back in the hotel and blow blunts all day. You got to be out there at the mall still doing autographs hustling cds you know what i'm saying so everybody who knows me i'm always out there smashing my product um you know what i'm saying i'm even though i was out there in uh in gallup they know me pretty you know, i'm pretty pretty good i'm out there smashing i'll hit, hit whatever I'll, i could hit bro you know what i'm saying i'm hopping out of my ride slanging units posters shirts whatever it is you know what i'm saying so that's what basically you know i'm just being smart having a, the whole business aspect of the game and then being able to go out there and do my music and you know what i mean be able to conquer both of them just makes you more of a stronger artist in the game you know what i'm saying I'm more of a, a threat you know milo mac thanks so much for being a part of on a sunday afternoon with your boy henry g right here on hot 103 we're about to get into a brand new premiere no one else has ever heard this track las cruces you're gonna be the first before we do though any shout outs you want to give anything you want to say to the listeners here in las cruces um yeah just you well, know, props to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And what you're doing with your show. You know what I'm saying? It's appreciated so that way Chicano rappers can go out there. They can't get heard. And you know what I mean? Much love to you. Much love to everybody in Las Cruces right there in New Mexico holding it down. All my supporters. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everyone goes out there and grabs that Soldier's Love album. It's a banger. Trust. You know what I'm saying? That's my word. And um, that's basically it. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Keep your head up. Get this get it crack in 2012 right here. Happy New Year to everybody. You know what I'm saying? All right. Go ahead and introduce this song for all your fans out here in Las Cruces. Everyone listening live online. Hot103.fm as well. Exclusive world premiere. Right here. This track right here is called Summertime Loving. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's featuring my homegirl, Samantha Latino. So she's on some of my stuff. And it's basically just about that summertime little, that summertime love, like the title says. You know what I'm saying? That little, that little fine little Heine that you, that you roll with in the summertime. You know what I mean? And the way you guys get it cracking, bonfires, barbecues, posted at the beach. And that's what it's basically about. Marlon Max, summertime loving right here featuring Samantha Latino. Hot 103.